hello welcome to yet another video on python and this time we're going to talk about exception handling this is manu from climatic data labs so exception handling is basically to handle your errors in python coding so when an error occurs in python we call it an exception and it will normally stop and generate an error message right uh, in the due course of running of the code but sometimes you don't want the code to stop you want to create some methods wherein on a specific error you just want to flag the error and then move on something like this so for that you need you need to have or you need to use the try and the accept method so what you do is wherever you suspect that that error would be happening that code or that chunk of the code you put inside the try block or the body of try so try colon and then you put it inside it inside the block of try and then you write accept again like this and then with colon and then you print uh, whatever you want to showcase as an error or some kind of flag and then you can also ex optionally add else uh, you can print like in this case all okay so if nothing is wrong then it will come here right so so these this is how the uh, exception handling works using the try accept and else block uh, you can also incorporate the finally keyword which is like uh, even if there is an error here uh, or if there is no error this finally will still work except will be run only when there is an error uh, you can also use the raise an exception clause to raise an exception on specific condition for example uh, if x is 0 then you raise an error and stop the program so what you do is you say if x is 0 you, uh, you define a variable here x is 0 and if x is 0 check here and then uh, raise exception this is the keyword raise exception and flag a message like x cannot be 0 so something like this you can also raise an exception type like in this case uh, we're saying raise an error which is a type error if x is negative so if x is minus 5 so i'll say if x is less than 0 raise type error only positive values are allowed so this will raise an error because x will be negative in this case otherwise if x is positive no error will be thrown so let's quickly run all this code on the python window it's pretty straightforward so the try accept an else clause so here I'm saying print 1 by 0 which obviously is an error because you cannot divide a number with a 0 a mathematical error so it says error division by 0 right however if I had divided by some number let's say like this then obviously we don't will not have an error and in that case uh, it will print all ok right so this was try accept and else then there is this finally uh, clause in which case uh, it prints even if there is an error or not right so for example in this case i'm saying try print high print one divided by zero so this one does not have an error this has an error so if i let's say once i'll run with out without error so in this case there is no error because i've commented out the error line this one so you'll see still uh, the the try except this one this line the try except is finished runs uh, from the finally clause so finally has a run here and then other way around if i comment this one and bring the error line because one by zero will throw an error so in this case there's an error still you will see the line the try except is finished comes up so this finally runs whether or not there is error in the program or code then there is a reason exception that we just discussed so if i say x is zero then raise an exception x cannot be zero so you will see it's raise an exception x cannot be zero right and then if you want to raise a type like what type of error so over here i'm saying uh, x is minus five and if x is less than zero then i have to throw a type error only positive values are allowed so you see this throw this error otherwise if it was not negative like positive then x is not less than zero and in which case no error is thrown so this brings us to the end of exceptional handling so if you like our video do subscribe comment and share this is manu from climatic data lab and we'll be back with more videos thank you so much